Hello, East Chicago. I'm here today with Jose. Um, we're here to show you the equipment that we have just purchased. This truck behind us is a marvel of technology. It's going to allow uh, this driver and his assistant to work more efficient when they come down the alleys to pick up the trash. Jose has been in this department for 30 years. He's going to be able to describe to you the difference that it makes. This truck will relieve uh, our workers of a lot of the back-breaking type work uh, that they have to do. It, it, it'll give them more endurance uh, to clean our alleys. Uh, I went with them about a month ago, and you talk about a monumental uh, task that they do each day. They give us all that they got. I was humbled, uh, but Jose, uh, if we can just do a demonstration to, to show them uh, the technology in this truck and also just your personal assessment of it since you are one of the first drivers to use it. Personally, I think it's probably the best truck we've ever had. First and foremost, this is uh, this department, or this compartment here catches all the water, all the water that would be falling out of on the mm -hmm. This traps it all. When you get them dumped, you open it, and it save the Alley getting that, that odor, that, that odor that, that we would get that juice. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a time saver, it's a back saver, like you said. Mm -hmm. All in all, it's just modern mm -hmm. technology. You, you know, Jose, when I when I first became mayor, I got a complaint from a resident uh, that lives right here in this area, uh, uh, Mr. Bemis, and, and this is the power of you as a citizen telling us about a complaint. He had addressed to me that the, um, the juice, the trail of debris that's left behind the truck, and this is the direction that we're going. I had promised him that, that, that one of the highest priorities I was going to make is in equipment for this department. Not only did he tell me about the problem, he had, he had went as far as documenting the problem, and he had showed me just the trail that it left. And he showed me over the years where he had complained. And this complaint went from 2006, he showed, 2007, 09, 2010, on to 2011. And, and I can tell you, Mr. Bemis, that we're moving in the direction of eradicating uh, that debris being left, that, 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 that horrible odor being left by the juice when, when the um, truck has to compress the material to get more in it. But Mr. Bemis, uh, let me go it this way. I will take my hat off to you uh, by standing up, giving us the complaint. Um, sometimes people think we know everything, but we don't. But it is residents like you that step up and show the concern and point us in the direction to tell us how to address your concerns. So again, thank you uh, for the power of being concerned about what goes on. And you can see the difference in the alleys. It gives us an opportunity to clean the alleys to make it immaculate. But if you could just jump in the cab, drive through, and we'll let them see a demonstration of, of how the technology works. In Chicago, I, I promise you that we will have a fleet of these in the next coming years to where we will be able to efficiently pick it up, especially in the traditional neighborhoods of where we have curbside pickup like Sunnyside, uh, Perry Park, um, here in the wider alleys like Roxana. Uh, this is going to allow us to go from a three-man truck to a two-man truck. In the traditional areas where we have heavier um, garbage we will keep the traditional three men on the truck because we need one guy on this side another guy on this side the two bringing the garbage cans together dumping it in in, in the middle uh, of the rear part of the trash compactor so uh, i first started off thinking that okay how do, how do we reduce this how do we get it down to two men but that's not the case 
Uh, we got guys that, that, that day in, day out, they like no limit soldiers. They come and give you all we got. We need to make their job easier, more efficient, so that we can eradicate the number one problem that we have, and, and that is all the rubbish and the debris in our alleys. All right, I'm, I'm Marge Roque, and I live here in 5509 Homerly, and I have one thing, one good thing to say about this truck. The new truck that's coming in is going to save us time, and we're going to have cleaner alleys. It, I noticed that when they picked it up and they dumped it in the uh, dumpster on the truck, there was no spillage on the ground, which is a plus for us because every time we come out, it is smelly and full of glass, and and whatever they pick up, they leave behind part of the trash. So I'm I'm, I'm proud. If you could see this truck in action, you would you would really really realize what I'm saying is true. Okay. And then he said, you notice anything? And I said, well, it's not, it's not spilling in. And he said, it's not going to. Yeah, because yeah, that's the first thing they do. They want yeah. to know. And you see how quick they can go down and pick it up? Uh, that's what I told him. I said, it's going to take a lot, a lot less time. Yeah. You're going to yeah. save time, yeah. and then you go somewhere else. Yep, right. Yeah. So now